Renee Diles. Congratulations, Renee. Well, Renee, congratulations. 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 Congratulations, Renee. Hard to believe she's retiring because she still looks like she's 18. <laughs> but um, we, of course, wish her the best of everything for whatever her next endeavor will be. I always hold in my heart how sweet and kind she was. I remember the first time that we came here, she was running to the studio and she paused long enough to say, hey, smile. And uh, she obviously knew that we were thinking about becoming part of the team here. And uh, she said, please come. <laughs> so I thought that was so sweet. Renee has been tremendous. I mean, she's just, uh, she's, we're so used to seeing her on the news. It will not be the same. She's done a tremendous job and she's always been professional and just very polite and great to work with. Uh, you know, we, uh, we've, we've enjoyed it very much and wish her the very best. Uh, don't know what she, her plans are for retirement, but uh, she's, I'm sure it involves a lot of fun and, and doing exactly what she wants to do, but she will be missed and certainly be missed by me and the county commission. I was so excited when they reached out to me to be part of this video. I cannot believe that you are retiring. Although, don't get me wrong, you, you've earned it. You deserve it. Trust me. I've always thought you were such a class act. I've learned a lot from you uh, during my time in Mobile, believe it or not, whether you know it or not. We used to always joke around in the newsroom, actually, and be like, Renee could get anybody to talk to her, but before we know it, she's sitting on the front porch with mom, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, having tea and crumpets after they just tried to threaten all the other reporters. You've always been so personable. You've always known how to talk to people. They don't even realize that they've just done a 20-minute interview by the time you knock on their door. And I've learned a lot from, from watching you and from those experiences. I wish you nothing but the best during retirement. and. All we can do is hope that there are more stand-up, class-act people like you still left in this industry. Mwah! Enjoy! I had to take a second to say thank you for being an inspiration to all of us. I can remember, I can see you now in the newsroom with no shoes on, running around with a document in your hand, something, some kind of new development, some find that you had. And I can also see you um, poised under pressure and your natural curiosity for the things that matter to our neighbors in Mobile and throughout that area. And you did all of this while raising a beautiful family. And for that, you should be really, really proud. I aspire to be more like you. Congratulations. You did it. Well, I mean, obviously, uh, on behalf of the whole Dolphin Island community, we want to express our congratulations to Renee on her 40 years of service to our area. Uh, the Dolphin Island community is very familiar with her and her work, and uh, we're just all have been fortunate to have had her in our lives for that long period of time. And just wish her all the best going forward for she and her family, and remind her that Dolphin Island's a great place to retire. <laughs> Renee, congratulations. I'll meet you on the golf course if you want to take up golf, or we can go fishing. Yeah, we can go sit on one of those five-gallon buckets on the causeway and, and catch us a mess. <laughs> I don't know if I ever had a chance to tell you exactly how much I admire you, because I think that when I would tell you I wanted to be like you when I grow up that you would think I was kidding, I was not, and I'm still not kidding. You are the person I want to be. I respect you, you respect other people, you treat them well, and there is never a moment when you are not contributing to the betterment of the team. And to be honest about it, when you're not contributing to making the world a better place. I can truly say I have never heard you say something bad about any of our coworkers or anyone in general. You come in, you take care of your work, you respect the work, you respect the people you're interviewing. You're just an awesome individual. Well, hello, Miss Renee. Just want to give you a couple of words of congrats on your retirement. We understand that you'll be leaving soon, and I just wanted to let you know personally what an honor it's been to work with you. Um, I think you're great. You're one of my favorite. Um, don't tell anyone else I said that, but you are. And um, I hope now that you might would just um, give me a call and let me know the secrets on looking and staying so young. 
Um, I promise not to tell anyone until I retire, but if you'll just kind of share that little bit of information with me, maybe what kind of face cream you use, moisturizer, I promise I will not tell a soul. Have a great time. It's hard to believe in this day and time that anyone stays in the media at one station for 40 years, but that's exactly what Renee Diles has done. Renee has just recently announced that she's retiring and going on to bigger and better things. And so we at the council just wanted to chime in and wish her the very best in retirement. So from all of us here at the council, Renee, we wish you congratulations, congratulations. and happy trails. <laughs> You've had a great career. As somebody that's watched you on local television for decades now, I've appreciated your work. Particularly, particularly some of your hard-hitting pieces trying to hold public officials accountable. As somebody that's been covered by you, I've appreciated your professionalism, and I particularly appreciate the fact that we get a fair and balanced treatment for you. You've been a real treasure for our community. Best luck in your retirement. Don't be a stranger. Renee, I want to congratulate you on your well-deserved retirement. It seems like you're an icon in Mobile. As far back as I can remember, you've been doing very thorough, interesting, and ethical stories on law enforcement and many other interesting topics in Mobile. Thank you for a job well done. Congrats on your retirement. Well, good morning, Renee. I've been asked to say a few words to you, but the words come very easy. On behalf of the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office, I would like to congratulate you upon your retirement from working at WALA. You've been with us a long time in our community and reported a lot of a lot of stories. As you know, some have been good and some have been bad. Some have been tragic and some have been entertaining. But I know as you look back upon your career, you value the moments that you spend in this community and we value what you did for this community and your reporting. Thank you. Have a happy retirement. We wish you best on behalf of the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office. Thank you and enjoy your days. Renee, Chris Elliott, Chairman, Baldwin County Commission. Congratulations on your retirement. Uh, you've been around Baldwin County and coastal Alabama for a long time, serving us well, serving our community well. Um, we are proud to call you a friend here in Baldwin County and uh, wish, you, wish you well. Have fun uh, with, your, uh, with your yoga and your grandkids and uh, all your, uh, your pursuits in retirement. Thanks so much and good luck. Hey Renee, we just want to tell you how much we love you. You're an inspiration to everybody. I loved working with you. Um, you were such a good mentor and you're a beautiful person inside and out. We'll miss you on the air, but I'm glad that you're retiring and enjoying some me time. So best of luck. Congratulations. I'd just like to say best of best wishes to you. Get some rest. And I want you to know that all of those decades, which I won't number, that you've been on the air. You've been such an inspiration for young women everywhere. Uh, you came at a time when there weren't a lot of people who looked like you, and that was very important. And you have done just a stellar job of just always maintaining the highest level of professionalism and dignity in the way that you've comported yourself. And I am so proud to have known you and to know you, and I look forward to finding something that you can do in retirement, volunteer. Renee, the only thing I can think of is that after 40 years and retiring, you had to have been 12 when you started, you know? So you've got a bright future, a long life ahead of you, and I wish you the very best. God bless you. Renee, you're one of the few people that goes back to the time when I was the new kid, and you were willing to point me in the right direction around the county courthouse. Since then, you've been a great competitor at News 5 and a wonderful journalist for the city of Mobile. We wish you all the best in retirement, fair skies, and low humidity. It was a very sad day when Scott Flanagan informed me that Renee Diles had decided to retire after 40 years. I met with Renee to tell her that I wanted to celebrate her career in a very special way and throw a very big party that all of Mobile could come and celebrate and say goodbye to her. And all Renee wanted, it tells you the kind of person she is, all Renee wanted was a luncheon at the station with her family, co-workers, and her immediate family. It tells you everything you need to know about Renee Diles. She is a humble, hardworking, deeply religious, incredibly wonderful lady. She's had quite a legacy here at Fox 10. I've only had the pleasure of being with her for six years and I wish I had six more years with her. Renee, we wish you well. You will be missed. 
your legacy will live on for many years at Fox 10. And if I raise a glass and make a toast, I just wish you many blessings and much love in your retirement, and we wish you the best.